Chef Zedlo in the house. Hello everyone and welcome to Zedlo's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making some roasted apples and sweet potatoes. It's only a few ingredients. We're going to pop them in the oven at 400 degrees and we're going to have a delicious side dish. So without further ado, let's get to cooking. So I already um, cut my apples with my apple core and then I have two sweet potatoes in which I peeled. I was going to keep the skin on but I decided not to because they were gro like they were gross looking and I washed them and they were still a little bit ass. So I'm like no I just take off the skin. So that's what I did. I peeled off the skin and then we're left with this. Now if you don't like sweet potato because I know there's people out there that don't you could use squash or you can even use pumpkin since it's that time of year and this is one reason why I'm doing this because you know finally fall is here it's getting colder out and I felt like this recipe would be nice and warm and why not plus it goes along with our meal that I'm making today which is another video which is our brown sugar garlic chicken so I'm just cutting these into dices Just like that, nothing too crazy. Oh, got it on the counter. So I'm gonna cut these and we're gonna pretty much add everything together. This is only a few ingredients. It's oil, brown sugar, and cinnamon. So oil, brown sugar and cinnamon. We're gonna roast these at 400 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes and just until they're nice and tender. Then when we pull them out we are going to put a little bit of maple syrup over them. A nice drizzle of maple syrup and then they are ready to go. You could pair this with a nice savory dish or you compare it with how I am and sweet, sweet, sweet. But I'm making these now because I just want to see how they taste. You can make these when you're cooking dinner, but since no one's home at the moment, I wanted to make some another video. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just chopping up the apples. Again, a nice dice. Now these are organic apples. You don't have to use organic, you can use just normal apples, regular apples. The reason why I'm using this is because where I got these, um, the apples were by each's. So one of the Granny Smith apples, I believe, were 99 cents for one. And I'm like, ooh, okay, well I need more than one. Uh, I do have more because I bought a little bag. And the bag of organic apples were $3.79. And if I would have bought three apples, it would have been $3. And I'm like, no, I need more apples than that because I have another recipe that I'm going to use them for. And I'm like, okay, well, I might as well just buy the bag. So that's what I did. I just can't believe that they put... The fruit and vegetables, like even the onions and the like loose potatoes and whatnot, they're eaches now. And I'm like, who wants to spend a dollar seventy nine on one potato? So I'm just like, whatever. So I'm gonna dice up the sweet potatoes now. Like I said, if you don't like sweet potatoes, you can definitely use um squash, you can use pumpkin if you like pumpkin. Uh, but I don't mind sweet potato. I think it's definitely, they're good. But I know people are a little iffy on sweet potatoes. So, but I just found, I thought this would be a nice pairing. And if you want to, if you like uh, nuts, I feel like if you... Uh, wanted to like roast some pecans and then uh, finish them 
in the pan with the uh, potatoes and apples. I think that would have been that would be great. I don't think I I might have some honestly. I'll have to look. But like the drizzle of of maple syrup and the caramelization with the brown sugar, I think that would be delicious. So I might add, I might add uh, pecans to here. Obviously, again, if you don't like uh, pecans or nuts, or if you're allergic, you don't have to add them. Just some ideas I'm throwing out there to can you could spice this up. This also I feel like is a dish that you know I don't know if your family does it or even if you do it, but I know uh, Nina when she makes yams for Thanksgiving or even just like yams in general. She adds, uh, she makes a brown sugar mixture with soda and, uh, what else goes in there? I think something else, I can't remember. She drizzled that over the yams, and then she adds marshmallows to them. And it kind of reminded me of this with the sweet potato, because that's pretty much what a yam is. And, uh the apples but I don't have marshmallow nor do I want it but that is another idea if you wanted to because the brown sugar and you know just the sweetness but that might be too sweet but I'm definitely gonna see if I have pecans I think I think that would be a nice uh, addition to this so I'm just gonna chop these up almost done Alrighty, just like that. So, to here, I'm going to do everything in this bowl. I'm going to kind of cut these a little smaller. I'm going to do everything in this bowl. I'm going to season it in this bowl and put the oil. Now, it's a tablespoon of oil. I'm going to eyeball it because I feel like I need a little more. And then... I'm not measuring out the, the ground cinnamon. I love cinnamon, so I'm going to add a lot. Cinnamon is like one of the... One of the things that I truly adore. So, you can add as much or as little as you want. I'm adding a lot because I like, one, I like cinnamon apples. And two, why not? I might even add more, to be honest with you. And I want to just coat these. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, I forgot to. Oh, this smells so good. I think I associate cinnamon with, with Halloween and with uh, Thanksgiving. Because, I don't know, just every... I It's a fall spice, you know? And it's just delicious. So... I'm going to add about a third of a cup of brown sugar. Oh, that. Well, that. Now it's probably half a cup, if not a cup, of brown sugar, which I didn't want to add. But you know what? That's okay. So I'm going to mix all this together. Oh, my God. I can't believe that fell out of the bag. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I'm going to add... Well, now that that happened, I feel like I need a little more oil. Uh, I'm going to add more cinnamon. I know, you're probably like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of cinnamon. Like I said, I love cinnamon. I, I, cinnamon is delicious. But I have chopped pecans. And I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add them in here. Okay. And then I'm just going to add a tad, a tad touch more oil. Just to get everything incorporated. Because now with the brown sugar that I added way too much of and the cinnamon, hopefully that salt will... Oh, this smells amazing. Does this not look good? Like, look at this. That looks delicious. And again, we're going to roast these at 400 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes until they're tender. If we have to go longer, 
we have to go longer, but this should be good. I'm going to grease the pan. I don't trust, I don't trust it not sticking, especially with the brown sugar. Ugh, I forgot, we got to add maple syrup to this too at the end, so. Maybe we'll test it. Maybe we'll test it. We'll test it without the maple syrup, and then we'll test it with to see how, if it's if it's sweet enough to see if we even need it or not. But I think the maple syrup will be a nice addition. But like I said, with the <laughs> with the brown sugar that fell into the bowl, who knows? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just layer this evenly on. I know, I could have gotten a bigger pan, but it's fine. This should work. Alright, so I'm just going to get every nook and cranny. But doesn't this look good? Look at that. Doesn't this look good? We're going to bake this at... 400 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. If we have to go a little longer until they're tender, we will. But that's going to be our starting time. So I'm going to pop these in the oven and I'll show you the end result. All right, so this is what it looks like. It has been 30 minutes and this is what it looks like. It's done. These are fork tender. Like they are, they're done. So we're going to try this. I want to see how this tastes. Uh, like I said, we're going to do one without the maple syrup and then one with. So let me go grab a plate and we will try this. So let's go ahead and try this. Okay. I'm going to just take a scoop. Just a little bit. It smells delicious. Do I have any? Yeah, I got some pecans in there. Pecans. Pecans. All right. Well, there you go. That's what it looks like. It looks good. I don't want to, I'm not going to have a lot, but let's try this. Oh. Okay, here we go. Cheers. That is delicious. Definitely you taste the brown sugar and you taste the cinnamon. And adding, adding the pecans takes to a whole nother level because you get that crunchiness, but the pecans because and the brown sugar like it caramelized on there. So it reminds me of like when you get um, the pecans from the store when it's like, I forgot what they're called. I used to get coffee pecans where they roasted it in coffee like you know coffee <laughs> they they roasted it in coffee and like you saw like the chunks of like coffee grounds on there and it was delicious that's what this tastes like it tastes like so good definitely a nice addition to this dish. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. So good. So, like I said, we're going to try this with the maple syrup. Now, because of what I did with the brown sugar and kind of dumped it in, I feel like we don't really need, you don't really need maple syrup, but we'll try it. I mean, even still, like it's not, it's sweet, but it's not like overpoweringly sweet you know it's not it's not like rot your teeth sweet oh, come on there we go but like it does have uh, it does have that sweetness to it but now I'm gonna try it with the maple syrup so I'm just gonna take 
I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to drizzle a little on. Okay. Now, if you want, you can also heat up the maple syrup to, you know, so it goes along with this. But let's see. I feel like I didn't get any. <laughs> Mmm. Okay, now that is good. You get that hint of maple syrup, and it's actually quite pleasant. It's good. Oh, that was a nice bite. Mmm. Oh. Hold on. It's. So you get that cinnamon, you get that brown sugar, you get that sweetness from the brown sugar. And the, the pecans just add that, that bit of crunch, but also with it caramelizing and everything, it just turned out delicious. It's like candied pecans, that's what they're called. And it it's amazing. And then the maple syrup, it adds another layer of sweetness, but a different sweetness. A sweetness that pairs well with this. I think this was a success. It's, it is. I would make this again for sure. And that does it for this episode of Zublo's Kitchen. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to be the best you you can be. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye! That's it.